Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Kicking It with Kia B. And in this hair video, we are talking about hair. <laughs> As you can see, I got my fro out right now. So we are going to be um, doing a length check on my um, 10 month post big chop. So if you're interested in seeing where I am at this point in my big chop journey, please continue to watch this video. And also, if you're new to my channel, welcome to Kicking It With Kia B. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also hit that notification bell so that you are not in the dark of any uploads that I am posting. Also, please, you guys, give this uh, video a thumbs up. If you like it or give it a thumbs down if you don't like it that helps me to know what type of videos you guys are interested in seeing and you know what the um, the views are looking like so you guys please go ahead and hit that thumbs up or that thumb down whichever is on your mind at that point in time <laughs> but yeah so if you like what you see please go ahead and share my videos as well some of your friends and family might like what I got going on over here. So we trying to grow this channel. So I hope that you're here to grow with me. So with all of that being said, welcome to my newbies and hey to my family. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay, y'all. So we're going to get into this hair of mine. And I'm sorry, y'all. I'm like hot as heck right now. If you guys... I know this is kind of off topic, but if you guys take showers and then your water is so hot that when you get out of the shower, you're still like hot, it's hard for you to cool down, comment below because I want to make sure I ain't the only person on planet Earth that does that. Please, because my husband thinks it's a little weird, but hey, if my skin ain't burning, then I ain't clean. <laughs> it's in my head. But anyways, you guys, so as you can see, my fro has been um, picked out. I'm going to show you guys a video of, um, or not a video, but a picture of comparison of my fro now versus my fro before I picked it out. So as you can see in the next picture, um, that was the day after I did my big chop in November. And what I did was I added some weave to the front, you know, to give it a little bit more style. Um, but it was pretty much gone and it was very, very short um, up top. But the sides and the back was gone. It was a little bit of little something up there, probably not even a full inch of hair. Liz, correct me if I'm right. It was not a full inch um, up top. My best friend cut my hair, so, you know, she might remember. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I cut my hair in November of last year, and I have not cut it since. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come and kind of see where my progress is. But before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know what I oil my hair with. So I do use the, um, Jamaican mango and lime black castor oil, and this is the extra dark. Just got it at my local beauty supply store. And I just put it in this, um, old, uh, do grow bottle because it has the nozzle on it. And instead of me purchasing another bottle, I have this one at home. So, um, and then I just go in and get the scalp real good. And also, um, after I do that and massage it all around, I do use the um, Ultra Sheen and it's a conditioning and hair dress. I use this to just put it all over my hair. Now, I know some people don't do this if they would rather use coconut oil, but I just want something a little bit thicker um, to just put all over because I am going to be using gel on my hair. So, um, you know, and it's probably going to be up for like a good week 
week and a half. I try to wash my hair like once a week. If not once a week, I'll stretch it to um, once every two weeks, just depending on how dirty it is. So yeah, and I just put that in. And before I um, go to the best gel ever, I'm going to do my lymph check. And then after that, before I put the gel on, I'm going to use the Cantu coconut curling cream. I just like to use that as like another conditioning element before putting um, the gel on my hair. So let's go ahead in with the lymph check. So this is the back and you guys, the back of my hair for some reason is very, very thin. It's been like that for years. So it doesn't get as thick as the rest of my hair. But um, so we're going to see where I am. Or maybe I should come closer. So yeah, I think that, um, oh, it's grew quite a bit. I mean, if I was to flat iron it, I have a little bit of hang time. <laughs> Uh, let's see the side. It's really greasy too, you guys. I think I may have gone overboard with the grease. So this is the side. I see that. No, maybe that's better. Oh, there we go. Right there. So this is the side. So yeah, it's actually growing pretty good. You guys, I don't really want to pull the front down because of the oil. I don't want it on my face. But I'm going to try and show you guys without me actually having to pull it down on, over my face. Because it's too much oil. And I already got... That's a do. Slap me if you ever see me outside like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, you guys. So that's where I am 10 months post Big Chop. And again, as you can see in the picture back in November, it was gone. So yeah, I think that um I think that uh it's coming along. It's coming along. So now we're going to get into the best gel ever. This is my opinion. It's better than Eco. It's better than Pro Style, which is probably my favorite gel because it gets hard and it's thick. Um, what other gels have I used? Um, I think that those are probably the only two gels that I really, really use. Now, my bestie, at the beginning of this here pandemic, I was in desperate need of gel because at that time, my afro was even smaller than what it is now. So, it wasn't even, it was long enough to go into a little tiny ponytail. But it had to have some real help, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like, it had to have some, some gel that was going to hold it all the way down. It was going to have to be tied down for at least overnight. You know how some people tie their hair down for a few hours? And nah, this was going to have to dry completely um, in order for my hair not to roll back up. And... um. I didn't have no gel and my best friend does not really use gel on her hair. Why did she have gel? I have absolutely no idea, but she had some. She had Eco Styler gel, which is what she told me she was going to give me. But when I went and picked up the gel, there was another gel inside the bag also. And I was like, I ain't asked for all of this. I've never even used this type of gel, but y'all, when I say this here gel is the gel now, ladies, if you're natural, your hair is curly and if you have problems with your hair rolling back up and all of that, I, this is 
some gel that I'm going to recommend. You can try it. Now, it is a little expensive, but to me, it's worth it. Really, it ain't that much more expensive than some Eco, because if you get a, a really nice size thing of Eco, you're going to spend about $9, $10 on it. This one was $15. So, the gel that I am talking about is Motives Professional Styling Gel. You guys, when she gave me this gel, I was like, this ain't going to work on my hair, in my mind. So I would use it here and there um, with Eco and with um, the Pro Style Gel just because, you know, I'm like, I need to use it. So one day, I just decided to use this gel on its own. When I tell you my hair slicked down with no freaking problem and not only did it slick down it does not turn white you have no white residue or well when you put grease in your hair and you put gel it turns white but you know what i mean when it's dry it doesn't flake up you don't have white flakes or any of that i even use this to slick down my baby hairs or my adult hairs or whatever you want to call them you guys, this gel here. Now, this is the gel that she gave me back in, was it April, maybe? The end of March, beginning of April. And this thing was pretty much full. So, once I got started using it and seeing that it was doing me some good, y'all, I was on a desperate hunt to find this gel and I know she ordered her stuff online because she's a barber and I went on Amazon and I found it y'all I found it and I I bought it like immediately immediately so with that being said I am going to go and start combing my hair so y'all can see what the slickage is looking like. So, hey, stay tuned for the next clip. Shake it like you mean, baby. Come on and dance with me. Come on. Shake it like you mean, baby. Come on and dance with me.
Okay, you guys. So, I am back. And I... My hair is gel now. Let me turn this way so we can see it. You guys can see it there on the wall. Well, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, so, despite the white residue from, you know, the or yeah, the grease and the um, castor oil and the, what am I trying to say? Oh, and the, the Cantu um, curling cream, despite the white residue from that, which is gonna go away, look how slick down But that molded uh, professional styling gel. You guys, I love that stuff. My hair has never gotten this slick. It's not rolling. It's not rolling down. You guys, look. Like it's all slick up. It's not normally if I did if I just use Eco Styling Gel or the um out, my hair would be rolling down, you guys. It is slick. So, if you're natural, or if you're not natural, you have thick hair, or you just want that slick look without having to tie your hair down for 30 pounds, tying your hair down for 30 days <laughs> in order for your hair to lay down, y'all check that out. Now, this is not sponsored, but I'm all about helping somebody out because somebody helped me out one day so you guys um i am going to be doing another video coming up soon where i um try out this new ponytail trend that everybody is doing and i want to see what i'm going to look like and so i'm going to do that with you guys so please um look out for that video coming up soon and what do you guys think about this gel just from seeing me use it let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and yeah i thank you guys for coming and kicking it with me tonight i am going to tie this down because it is 10 o'clock p.m so i'm about to go to bed <laughs> but anyways i'll see you guys in the ponytail video i also have another clothing haul coming up and we're going to get back into some more makeup. So you guys, look out for those videos every Wednesday. Every single Wednesday, I am dropping a video, y'all. I'm trying to be consistent, y'all. I'm trying. I don't know if I can do more than once a week. But y'all definitely going to have some videos once a week. So tell your people, tell your friends, tell their friends, tell their friends, and their family to come and see what Kicking It Here got going on. See you guys next week.